is Odero Oluoch. Um, I'm a software developer, full stack software developer. Um, passionate about technology, currently learning at uh, Moringa School. It's a very mind-opening journey. Um, it's, it's a very interactive session. Uh, we are having uh, to interact with uh, fellow students from the, of different levels of experiences. So when you came in thinking you're smart, you meet guys who are smarter than you, who help you out, and guys who are also below you, who you get to support. And uh, so the journey has been a very interesting one. Um, learning things uh, which we that are considered industrial level uh, portfolio ready. By the time I was joining Moringa School, I had already graduated. So I had a journey in between from the time I graduated to the time I joined Moringa School. I first got an opportunity to do a volunteer uh, experience uh, with the Ministry of Education under a program called the G United. Then in 2019, after this uh, journey ended, I got a chance to work as a support, we, they called us support. It was a company that uh, made softwares for hospitals. I got another job also as a support where um, um, there was a development team. I was now a tech support supporting the system. And then I applied for another job where I got as an intern uh, developing Android apps. So this is where one of them uh, referred me to Moringa School. Moringa School has a nice way of teaching people. It's, it's a well-curated module. They, they prep you for the next module. They give you projects which you use to measure your own skills. They give you IPs. You're supposed to do them independently. So you use them to know how, how far you are. Uh, Moringa School gives your community a technical mentor. So you, you feel you're surrounded by people who are going through what you're going through. And so you're not alone in this space. Learning online was a bit challenging when we started. You know, there was the excitement of doing things, joining the community and being part of an organization, being part of Moringa School and learning code. But then when you learned that you're doing it on your screen, the mind um, got a bit relaxed. But then again, once we got used to it, uh, I started getting the better part of it when I learned that people learn at different places, people learn in different environments, but then the learning, uh, learning online module gives you that chance to learn at your own pace. If you are a morning person, you can have your morning hours and learn on your own. If you are an evening person, you can have your evening hours and learn on your own. We have catch-up sessions and feedback sessions where all of us get together. But most of the time, you decide what works well for you and what you can pick and go with. Learning online at Moringa School um, has, has made me to change the way I would normally organize my day. Because sometimes I wake up at six in the morning. I have a session with uh, some of the guys who uh, need help so that we help each other. So I would normally wake up at six, have discussions to around eight, then take a break because we have a session at nine with a technical mentor, a morning session, morning stand-up, where we discuss content, what is expected in the content, um, what is expected in the day, where mostly is a student who leads or who guides with the help of the technical mentor. So when that ends, we have, um, like for our Java team, we also have another session together where we discuss uh, what the content is. We help each other break down the technical bits into simpler languages that we can understand. Then sometimes in the afternoon, I take time to study alone. Or if someone has a blocker, we reach out. Or if I, I myself has a blocker, I reach out to someone. Then we get to look at the details, uh, find out what's going on, if there are any installations to be done, if there are any errors to be checked. Uh, we help correct each other. And then at around four, 4.30, we get together again with our technical mentor and then look at what we were doing in the course of the day, what challenges we faced in the course of the day, uh, where someone was unable to find solutions, our technical mentor helped us out. We have uh, Thursday speaker talks, um, Tuesday lightning talks, if I have the word right, yes. Um, they are very uh, mind-opening. We had someone who came and introduced technical driven development. We also have Friday feedback sessions where we get together and get to understand what's going on, how are you, how are you going with your content, what is your um, general um, 
mental state at the moment because people are far from each other. You may never know what someone is going through. Some people feel frustrated when alone and are unable to reach out. So we get to really talk about these issues other than coding. I believe I'll be a master in writing code, software development, considering that I had struggled before joining Moringa and I had somehow leveled up the foundations. You know, when you're just picking anything anywhere, trying to learn, and then Moringa gave you that nicely curated uh, learning path and then helps you groom yourself into someone better. I believe my, my technical skills will be somewhere. So there's something I created before I joined Moringa, one of my uh, practical skills. It's called Andishi Africa, a literary outlet. Other than that, um, I'm looking to venture into software development fully. Moringa School has given me a chance to have a community of software developers. That's, that is one thing I lacked while I was, I was uh, struggling in my journey. So I have mates, uh, peers, classmates. That is already a, a, a community. Moringa School has given me the chance to learn without, you see it's full time, you, no, no distractions coming in. Moringa School has given me that opportunity to really stretch out my skills. We have independent projects that we're doing every week. We have TMs that are mentoring us. We have a counseling psychologists that we can talk to in an event that um, we feel frustrated or strained. And I think moving forward, my confidence as an individual in uh, software will be somewhere. My backup people, a community, uh, technical mentors, people I can fall back to in an event that things don't work out well. If I'm employed somewhere and I have a challenge I'm facing, I know someone who is good at that. I can easily reach out, hey guy, I'm, I'm stuck here, please help me, this and this and this. I think that is really solid because then we get to hold each other's hands while we move forward.